This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Here it is. Fiat 500e, my all-time favorite. But it's back in black, new interior, new battery, new motor. Everything is new here. Well, except for the shape. But in this video, we're going to review the interior. The charge port is on the right side, which is the wrong side. It should have been the left side, which is the right side. We have these... Uh, holders these covers for the CCS and type 2 yeah so as expected we have a tiny trunk we have space for some cables let's take out all the cable this is a pretty fat type 2 cable uh, a nice Italian bag more cables and then here we have a little space under here yeah okay. okay yeah you see we have even well, yet another charging cable. What the heck? And here we have the, the what the heck is this thing? And some stuff under here, under the trunk. You know, the stuff you need in an emergency will be deep under here. That applies to every EV nowadays, I guess. So we're just gonna fold it. Well, hmm, can I? Okay, let's take out this one. It's kind of clumsy. Take it out. You can also take out this, but we'll just leave it there. So let's see, where is that? Uh, Okay, I have to show you, but we have a little light there. Uh, let's start measuring. Uh, how the heck do I measure something tiny? Well, I'm an Asian. I should know this. So let's see. The depth here is 50 centimeters. The width is... Uh, actually, 102 centimeters. The height in here is 49 centimeters. And what about the opening? Yeah, this is also kind of important. 35 centimeter opening <laughs> what about the width on the opening here uh around there uh 79 ah uh, yeah 79 centimeter opening <laughs> what about loading height and if that matters 72 centimeters yes i always check all this because it's standard for me and now i have folded the seat and let's see how much length do you have then well, uh, 117 centimeters. <laughs> and then diagonally, uh, if you want to fit something from Ikea, roughly there. Oh, oh shit, I'm, I'm blocking it. Well, let me see. This is really hard. There, what, huh? Not getting good reading. No, that, that can't be correct. Let's try this corner instead. There, okay. Uh, about uh, 140 centimeters. So... Yeah, the trunk here with seats folded is about the same as a uh, bigger car's trunk without seats folded. <laughs> and I have to show you, when you fold the seat here, you will then have access to a 12 volt outlet. Well, actually, that's uh, technically in the trunk, but it would be pretty hard to see. You see if I fold the seat? Wait, I was going to pull this one. No, man, it's so hard to do it with one hand. There, 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 there. It is in the trunk, yeah. So here you go, the back seat. Everything is just taut, so tight now. So let's see, I have to try to measure the seat here roughly. Uh, we have about, about 120 centimeter width. Plenty of width though, because we have only space for two people. What? This is quite clumsy. Uh, 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 okay, there you go. I'm in, I'm in. And then let's m measure the, the seating height here, which is uh, somewhat important for comfort oh wow 30 centimeter seating height that's pretty shallow so you sit with the knees up kind of hard to show you <laughs> okay here you see the seats this is cool fiat uh, texture in it well done at least huh Man, it is so cramped in the back here. You see, I think this is usually the... Yeah, this one is adjusted way too much forward. So this is what it would look like if I would sit behind myself. Let me try to sit here. I mean, it kind of works for short, short trips, really short trips. But a road trip, ah, that would be pretty painful. Let me see, let's take the uh, headrest up. Check the headroom. What? Can you see anything? Everything is just so dark. Oh, I'm just touch. I'm rubbing into the headliner here. Yeah, see? Well, it's so kind of hard to, that, 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 kind of like that. Rubbing into the headliner. 
this is the cab version though <laughs> maybe you want to open the the roof so i'm still 173 centimeters so we have a little uh, armrest here at least no cup hole in the back do we have anything here no usb ports nothing front seat wait am i just correctly now I actually am hmm okay i was wrong then you can go a little bit more forward so then you have at least at least for me yeah i can sit behind myself all right so here we just have manual adjustment there pump it up here backward and forward uh the steering wheel does go up and down in and out so that's good sun visor is really simple that's it <laughs> And also no makeup mirror on this side. We have makeup mirror on the other side. And here in the door, it says made in Torino. And I'm trying to show you, uh, kind of hard to show you that there, there's some rubberized surface in the inside here. Ooh, is this real leather? Oh, that's interesting design. We have one spot here and then, okay. The door handle, when the door is like this, you open it like this, you know. But you also have a, an emergency release here. Just like a Tesla Model 3. Okay. Well, look at this. They really try to style it nicely. So I feel like this is a way nicer place than the, the previous. Uh, Fiat 500e and also we have wireless charging pad here it Takes a couple of seconds and then this one should light up blue There, okay, we're charging we have one USB a there and We have another USB a there. This is only for uh, power not communication. We have a 12 volt outlet here also This is the mode selector We have part brake here and this is volume you also have some buttons, yes, speaking of that, we also have buttons behind here for adjusting volume. And also behind here for adjusting channels or track. And then we have these buttons here on the steering wheel. Feels okay to touch. Hmm. And yeah, one thing I do like, wait, wait, what happened to my uh, settings here? Okay, hang on, let me just adjust here a little bit. Okay, this video trip. Okay, trip. I want trip. So you see, we have state of charge in percentage. Yes, watch and learn other car manufacturers. And we also have range here. We have temperature outside, speed limit. Well, it's that one, not correct, but trip meter here. All that stuff in one tiny screen. It's not really that big. Look here, compared to my palm. And here we have also a very nice infotainment screen with pretty high resolution. If you zoom in, you can see that. Yeah, this is high resolution. Wait, um, some music in the background now? I don't want that. Okay. Touchscreen. See, we have navigation here. Okay, it loads. Fairly smooth. We have the HVAC settings here. Okay, I think it's a bit slow first time we load it. Uh, phone stuff here, vehicle, this is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you see we have some settings here for vehicle. Okay, I'm not gonna dive in too much of it, but you also have launched EV pages. If you launch this one, you will then see some stuff here. You see, when you're driving, you see also motor power here or region, and now also climate, how much it's pulling. So this is pretty cool. I like it, I like it. Man, this is way better than the old one. Here we actually have some physical buttons for uh, climate control. Uh, the gear selector is here, which is kind of weird placement, but whatever. Yeah, see? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I want to mention something. Backup camera. Man, I have to say, nowadays, um, cars with infotainment, they come with high resolution screen, but they put a shitty backup camera with low resolution, like like VGA graphics or some shit, you know? But here, seems like Fiat, they actually bothered to fit the car with decent high resolution on the backup camera. I like it, yeah. I don't remember which car I tried lately. I think it was some of the PSA cars. 
really low resolution on the backup camera. You shouldn't have to deal with low resolution cameras now in 2021. So I can show the rest of the interior. Okay, we have, let's check out the glove box. Yep, yeah, for putting gloves in there. Uh, okay, okay. Let me see, let me show you the seat there, front seats. We have 500 here. We have Fiat all over the place. So I like the style, man. Yeah, I like it. What was this? What? Oh, oh, I just, ah, we have a cup holder here. I just discovered it now. I've been, I just had this car for less than one day. Well, actually a little bit more than one day, but I've been spending too much time with it. But you have space here for putting some of the stuff. You can close this one. And also the, the armrest here can be moved forward here. And you can also, you can also open it and you have more space here. Lots of nice small pockets for stuff. Let me see, I have to check something. Uh, as always, I have to check the sound of the horn. Oh, okay, 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 not so cool sound of the horn. Okay. But let me check now the headroom in the front then. How, how good is that? Oh, we have about, uh, about one fist of headroom, depending on how you count it, <laughs> how you measure it. But okay, and then here we have, yeah, Just one mirror there, you see, like I mentioned, no mirror here. But we have this one, okay. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Okay, and then that's one step, and then you adjust it more, and it becomes like this, wide open. Whoa, <laughs> look, so I'll be driving like this, huh? Roadster, go home. <laughs> wow. This, open it just feels so nice and bright in here now huh look at this yeah who cares it has so little space huh it doesn't matter it's um well it's a cab they call it a cab yeah well there you have it fiat 500e you know the first version i tried many years ago was piece of shit this one is way better i love the car it's also pretty fast and okay noise level not the best in the cab version but better screen better interior better range better charging everything is better with this car so if you want a cute little car go get it wifey loves the color she she wants it so i guess i have to buy it now and i, I would just also be driving around with around town so i think that's going to be it for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later